Hi there, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today I am doing another Christmas card project featuring this beautiful angel stamp from Unity Stamp Company. The set is Believe in Angels. I will be using both stamps from it, but the main focus is this lovely angel stamp, which is fairly large and very detailed, and there's something, I don't know, something about it that I just, just love. <laughs> I will be stamping it using Pink Fresh Studios Detail Black Hybrid Ink onto a piece of Concord and Ninth's white cardstock, which is my new favorite for alcohol ink marker coloring, which is what we'll be doing today. You can see that this has the cushion already built into it because the red rubber has the cushion behind it. I don't need my mouse pad in my Misty. Um, the cushion is built right into the stamp. And red rubber stamps, if you are not aware, are, tend to be more detailed and stamp more crisply than acrylic or polymer stamps, clear polymer stamps. So that's one nice advantage to these, although they are a little bit trickier to store. And you can see I got a little bit of ink on the side there that you will notice as I'm coloring, but I'm going to cover that up later, so don't worry. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using alcohol markers, and these are the Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. I pretty much have always used these. They are less expensive than Copics. And I feel like they work just as well. I do have a few Copics, um, but I tend to use these because I have the entire set and I love them. Now the colors I'm using on the hair are shown right there. It's TN6, TN7, and TN8. Hair is kind of random, so I didn't really base coat or anything, but I'm just kind of being a little bit streaky with the different shades and the darker shade was going more where there would be natural shadows on the hair as if it were lit from the front, basically. The wings, I wanted to be sort of a pale blue, so I base coated them in TB1, and then I'm adding shading with TB4, just right along the body, and then like on the tops of the feathers where they are overlapped by the previous row. Hopefully that makes sense. And then a little bit on the bottoms, and then I will blend that back with TB1. Now, as you may have noticed in the beginning, I'm going for sort of a blue and gold theme on this card, so a little bit non-traditional in my colors. And I also think this angel could potentially be used for other holidays, other cards. It wouldn't just have to be Christmas. Now, the greeting is Christmas, but I, lo I just love the image and I think it, it's pretty versatile. You could potentially use it for like a support card or a birthday card, who knows. But anyway, <laughs> so there is that little um, heart above the eye, this flower, and then the little um, swoosh under the letters that I've colored in with DR1 and DR5. The ground I'm using TB8, and then I'm adding shading right under her body for with TB9, and then I will blend that back out a little bit with the TB8. Her dress and halo will be sort of a kind of gold shades. So I'm using EB2 as the base coat. Kind of a, it's sort of like a light, light tan. I didn't want metallic gold, I just wanted like a gold shade. Then I'm going to add some shading with GB8 along the edges and the base and then like under her hair. Kind of like you would make it look a little bit 3D by curving the shadows on the sides just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to blend it all together using GB1. And at this point it's looking a little too tan to me. I wanted it a little bit more yellow. So I did add a coat of CT1, which is a fairly bright yellow, all over it to make it look a little more gold. And then of course, because it's an angel and a Christmas card, we gotta have some sparkle. So I got my Spectrum Noir Clear Overlay Sparkle Marker and added that over all the wing, all of the wings and the halo as well. Make her look a little bit like a sparkly angel. And then the leaf I colored in with AG4. And then you can kind of, you can sort of see the sparkle. So it's fairly subtle, but nice. Now my card base is an A2 size top folding card base made out of G&K Designs in the navy cardstock. I did think it was a little plain, however, so I decided I was going to add some pizzazz with this stencil that I sprayed with pixie spray, and now I'm going to put it down on top of the card front and cover up the extra parts on the stencil that are not snowflakes. And then I'm going to use Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel in white 
to add this snowflake pattern to the front of the cardstock. Now I tried using the my stencil palette there to spread it initially and that was too big to fit in the jar. So I grabbed a palette knife and I am spreading it, spreading the glitz glitter gel over the stencil with that and then scraping it off fairly slowly and carefully with the stencil pal to get an even coat inside the stencil openings. And then I'm going to sort of clean up a little bit because every this stuff dries really fast in Colorado, especially in the winter when it's really dry. Peel off the blue tape and then carefully peel up the stencil to reveal the pattern. Now obviously it doesn't cover the entire card, so well, I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry completely. And I got a little bit extra on the edge that I'm trying to wipe off with my fingers. Don't don't smear it. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> but now that it's dry, I'm gonna finish the pattern across the front of the card base by just moving the stencil over and basically blue taping over these parts that are already done. And then just repeating the process once again by spreading the glitz glitter gel with the palette knife to fill the openings and then taking my stencil pal and scraping off the excess. And then again, I will peel it up and just let that dry. And my pattern will be good to go on the back. Now, if you didn't want to go to the length, this length, to create a pattern on the front of your card base, you could also use pattern paper. So if you had like a navy and snowflake pattern or navy and silver patterned cardstock, you could use that instead. That would certainly work just as well. There it is, it is entirely dry now. And I have trimmed down my angel panel to three and three eighths inches by four and five eighths inches. And then I have a piece of metallic gold cardstock that from Gina K that I die cut out with the second largest die in the Elizabeth Craft Designs dotted scallop rectangles die set. Then you can see I've got the greeting from the stamp set over there on the right, which I stamped in the same ink onto white cardstock. And then I trimmed that down. I did color over that, you know, sort of casually with the TB1 marker and then also added sparkle marker over the top of that. And then I have a 1 8 inch border for that greeting um, in the gold cardstock as well. Now I use liquid adhesive to adhere the gold dotted scallop panel to the card front because of the texture of the glitter paste. And then I use tape runner on the angel to tape that down. I lost that footage, not sure what happened there, so I apologize for that. And same with the inside of the card. But then I decided after everything was done, that I need a little extra something something as you, and if you watch my videos you know I do this a lot so I added these little clear sparkle stars from Pretty Pink Posh with liquid adhesive around the front and in the inside and then I added tiny drops of Nouveau glitter drops in Midnight Sky to the centers and that is the completed project really pretty straightforward I would say the hardest part of this whole card was the glitter the glitz glitter gel <laughs> on the front um, but that could be skipped, as I mentioned, with pattern paper if you like that instead. And I just love this imagery. This stamp set is great and super detailed and just stunning. So I hope you check it out. And I also hope I've inspired you a little bit today to try some alternate uh, Christmas colors for your cards this year. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, uh, the supplies are linked in the video description and over on my blog if you're interested. I also appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because I love to hear from you and that helps my channel quite a bit. Thanks so much. Happy holidays.